library media teacher at Edgar Hill Middle School in Park City. And I came today to share with you Curriculate, which is software for personalizing e-reading. So we're all familiar with e-reading, right? Because we have Kindles, or we read on our iPads, or we read on our phones. Well, Curriculate takes it to the next level. It is compatible with computer pads and phones, and slides are provided to us by Curriculate because I emailed them and said, you said accepted my uh, offer to present on your software and told other teachers about it, and they said, oh, well, here's our uh, PowerPoint, but I didn't use the whole thing because it was very more promotional than I want to be. I'm a librarian <laughs> promoting the curriculum. But anyway, so that's why it was cool science. So their vision is to transform reading by embedding right into the reading work that we want students to do. And they got into it and based it on the fact uh, proficiency. So below proficient readers at one grade level and California college level because they're based on California. So Based on the chapter. 
chance to annotate information that the teacher would like to, to draw attention to. And this is all really, really simple to add. Um, I'm going to go back to my library because you can play with this and see these things and show you that in Jack. So I do want to teach Call of the Wild, and I want all 30 students in there. I can create all 30 students and enroll them. Simple, easy directions right here. Um, you can actually import your own text, and I've been playing with PDFs. There's some problem with it reading the PDF correctly, so if you have the actual text document, a Google Doc, a Word Doc, it's really smooth. But the PDFs, what I get is a double image. I'll get an article that's written in columns, and it'll show that. And then on the next page, it'll have gone to a single page document. So it's trying to reformat the PDF. I'm playing with it and not being really successful yet. But they say you can use PDFs as well. So just I'm probably not experimenting enough. Yes. Yeah. So you're teaching a book that they haven't created one, but the book's available as an ebook, then you can do the annotations, the questions, your own quiz. Yes, 
and you set up your classes. And I, because I'm a librarian, I didn't have students to set up a class. Um, so I should have had Shaney just help me set up a make-believe class. Um, but you can score it right through there, everything. And they have, again, that video on YouTube shows you how to do that. from the teacher side, and you definitely can as a teacher. So um, assuming that maybe the student can too, but I haven't actually played with it as a student because someone would have to add me to their class when they'd be a student. So for you to see what they Right. So you might, if they can't highlight, then you're definitely stuck with asking them to type it in. But they can copy and paste. I know they can do that. Or you could make a number of the sentences. Yes. You can definitely do that. That, for sure, I've seen an example. So that's a yes. But if they can't highlight, they can definitely copy and paste. So you could say to them, copy and paste the portion of the text that shows foreshadowing. You can definitely do that. And then they have an answer. Okay. Did you create a class? <laughs> Very nice. Um, and so, teacher user guide, student user guide, we into the comp They tried to anticipate all the kinds of questions that we're going to have. And again, being the librarian rather than the classroom teacher, I approach it from a little bit different perspective, but I think it was a really awesome support tool to share. I do like differentiating it so that, um, I, you know what, I think you have to create different classes. So you could, you know, instead of calling it first period, you could have some other way of sorting your classes so that it would be differentiated by struggling and non-struggling. Exactly. Because they can only log in and see the class that you created them in, so they wouldn't know that they weren't doing the same thing as everyone else. And I'm definitely coming out, once you sign up, you get emails from them. But every email that I've, I've received had, was how to use the USA Today feature, how we got these new books added to the collection, take a look. None of them are overly annoying, um, just why aren't you using it? Nothing like that. So, but when, as they're continuing to expand, they're, they notify you. So that, I think they have good outreach. And when I emailed them and said, I'm gonna share this with other teachers, they were probably back to me within four or five hours. So I think that's really good response time if you contact them for help too.